Well, here we are at the homestead. We are uh, trimming trees, cleaning gutters, and we're getting ready to pressure wash the side of this house. Look at that. Algae likes to grow on that north side. So we're going to get some trees trimmed, some gutters cleaned, and then we're going to we're going to get on that. Look at this beautiful day here in southern Missouri. Oh my goodness. I think I must be in heaven. Well, here we are. Another day in paradise. I've got the mower out in my trailer. We got all the trims kind of tree, tree to, tr trees trimmed up. And uh, now we're in the backyard. We're going to do some uh, pressure washing. The one thing I want to get done is get all these fences pressure washed and some uh, sealer put on them. As you can see, I started pressure washing this one little section here. Wow, what a difference. Now, I got to tell you a funny story. So for the last year, year and a half since I got this house, I've been looking for a pressure washer. And every pressure washer I saw at Lowe's or Home Depot or Northern Tool, all those pressure washers, I would constantly compare to the pressure washer I used to have when I was a painting contractor some 25, 30 years ago. So as I searched out Facebook Marketplace, look what I found. This is a identical pressure washer to the one I purchased brand new 35 years ago. I couldn't be happier. So I don't know if this is some sort of a sign, if this is just a magical place, or maybe there really is a God. Have a great day. Okay, here we are, day two. Started pressure washing the uh, fence yesterday. Uh, had to work out a few little issues with the pressure washer, which is no big deal. As you can see, off in the distance there, fence is pretty gray. And then of course, you get up in here to this section, this is the part that I already did. So, you can see, looks like a new fence. I'll shoot some pictures from the other side, it'll be a little bit clearer. Okay, as you can see, we got this side of the fence all pressure washed yesterday. Let's go around here to the uh, the inside. And as you can see, everything is finished up all down through there. Oh, look at that. All through here as well. So now... We need to make that side of the yard look like the one I just finished. So that's what we're going to get on right now. We're going to I'm going to get that pressure washer out, power wash that side, and then we'll start putting some sealer on it. We'll talk to you then. Okay, here we are. You can see I got this whole side of the fence all pressure washed yesterday and uh, gates are all done oh my goodness look at that algae that's what I'm working on next I'm bleaching out that algae let's see how this side looks so here we are oh my goodness this is the worst side right here and as you can see that's what it looked like before, and that's after. So, 
we're looking good going to keep power washing the house get it all cleaned up and then i'll get this fence all redone and get some sealer on it so we'll chat again soon well as you can see i've got the fences all pressure washed i've got the rate gates rebuilt i've got that other side done over there so now i'm going to put on some sealer now i'm sure there's a lot of you folks that may not have ever seen this before but i'm going to use used diesel oil thinned with diesel fuel yeah crazy right you think it would just catch fire but it doesn't so it's a good affordable way to reseal your fences if i was going to go buy sealer from like home depot or lowe's or something like that i'd spend probably 600 bucks but i can do it this way and probably spend 25 bucks not even that i got the oil for free I've got a five gallon diesel jug full over there, or maybe there's four gallons in it. So I'm gonna use about a, not quite a 50 to one, or a, but I'm gonna use probably a couple gallons of diesel fuel to three gallons of um, oil. So I've got an empty bucket here. I'm gonna use as a mixing bucket. I've got my, <laughs> this spray rig has some history it's been revived from the dead a couple of different times and i still get a lot of miles out of it it's probably 15 years old but it's a good gray coal ultra and uh, it's a workhorse you just got to take care of them so here we go i'm going to get this thing going and then i'll touch base with you guys um in a little bit and we'll we'll see how things are working out okay talk to you then okay here we are next morning as you can see i started staining the fence yesterday <coughs> now you can see it's a nice it's kind of a dark walnut looking color I was thinking maybe I should put some, some sort of a clear sealer on it to make it look like that. But I'm telling you, this dark stain, basically what that is, that is used diesel motor oil. So you get it for free, costs you nothing. I've already used about four gallons, four gallons of regular stain from home depot would run me about two hundred dollars so i would need two four six eight and then i got that whole side i'd be a thousand dollars into a sealer unless i got a really cheap like thompson's water seal and i would still be into that for four hundred dollars so i'm gonna keep on i'm gonna keep on keeping on and uh we'll see how it looks when we're all done Okay, so we're back at it. Just want to say sorry. I keep forgetting to shoot video of this. But here's some finished product here. See, I put some cardboard there, but oh my goodness. Cardboard didn't actually completely work. Look at the overspray I've got all over that. But that's all right. I'll just take some diesel fuel and just wash that off when I get all finished. So here we are on this side. As you can see, I've got that finished up and i'm going to get on that right there so i'm going to put this on the tripod and set this up and then you guys can kind of see what this looks like bear with me.
how it works. Um, now, if you're wondering, I'm shooting this with a, a 521 size spray tip. And here's my little setup because I'm in the backyard. I just got a little generator plugged into my airless spray rig. I got diesel fuel and diesel oil. I mix it about 30% um, with diesel fuel. So for every gallon of uh, fuel, I put uh, three, two gallons of, uh, or three gallons, probably about two and a half to three gallons of uh, diesel, or of uh, diesel oil. So I'm thinning it about 25 to 30%. But anyway, that's what I got going. I'm just gonna finish mowing down this fence line and uh, we'll get this thing uh, put out there for you. Hope this helped you. Okay, as you can see, we've got the sealer put on the fence. I, um, I had a little pause because I was out of material and my buddy got me some more. So I just finished all this. Um, and it's, as you saw, it's pretty dark. Now you're gonna see over on that side of the yard, that fence has lightened up quite a bit. And um, I'm gonna assume this one's gonna do the same thing because I was a little concerned about how dark it was to start with. But as you can already see, that portion there already is lightening up. So we're gonna go with that. And uh, yeah, let's go find something else to do.